are coming back when people are talking doing battle between men and women right now. Let's talk about commitment, okay? Let's face it, that's got to be one of the most important things in any relationship. Who wants it more, a man or a woman? Kelly, who wants commitment? Could I say something first before we go to I have a feeling you're going to anyway. Okay, uh, Cynthia <laughs> said that we need men for sperm and support. That's changing. Soon we will not need men for sperm. We will not need men to make babies. They are proving now that a woman's egg can become fertile and can start maturing through technology. And won't the world Men be a boring be place, huh? Yeah. What will they be good for? All right, answer the commitment opinion, question now. In my opinion, men don't want commitment. They have to be forced in it by pressure, by society. I think they want to plant their seeds and run. I think men are hit and, hit and run fathers. They want to put their seeds in as many women as possible. They don't want to take responsibility or nurturing. I That's did. why they have sex so often. I did, madam. <coughs> Eight children. But how, how many women have you tried to impregnate on the side? None. 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 Right. Okay. No, wait a second. Man, Look man, at no, man, wait, wait, just one second. Look at a guy like that's, Anthony, that's okay? Denigrating. He that's looks because... like the kind of guy who's loyal to his wife. He's committed. He's got a good sense of intimacy, doesn't right. he? Yeah. This is a healthy man. Right. And you I'm, wanted to be well, I'm not rich, but I'm very wealthy with my children and my wife. Yes. That, and that's, commitment that's to That's where it's Men, men, are, men are very responsible fathers, but you know, let's talk about commitment. Cher Height did a study in which she sur surveyed women, and she found, she's a feminist woman, she said, 91% of separations and divorces are initiated by women. Every study I've ever shown shows that it's two-thirds or higher. Women are fleeing from commitment. Women are the ones who are abandoning commitment. They men, file for divorce. Commitment. They file for separation. Men are the ones who want the commitment. This is not true. Commitment is something That's a man is is again afraid of today. Well, the numbers say that women no, are the no. ones that are but abandoning you're, you're relationships. Abandoning That's what the studies no, but tell But a man will embark on it. A woman might abandon it, but a man is afraid of women. They're leaving men that cheat on them and molest kids. Why do we men. talk about yes, why women too. are, yeah. why but men are afraid to embark upon commitment? And I'll tell you why. We call them right? Well, there's a reason for it. There really is. It's because they're of a generation, this whole pathetic, I think it's sad, they've gotten the dirty end of the stick. The baby boomers, this generation, has been, in a sense, victims of being on the cusp of two generations. They were brought up, the guys were brought up by their mothers and fathers to believe they're going to be the king of the hill, they're going to all be like Anthony, and they're going to grow up and they're going to find a woman who will be compliant, who will adore them, who will take care of their children. Then they hit, when they grew up, they hit the feminist movement. Instead of compliant women, they found competitive ones. Instead of women who just accepted whatever sex or whatever, she, now she, she evaluates them. It's a whole different thing. The guy the is country. getting... We we're have the highest divorce rate in the, the world. Fact is, the, so what happens is the men are afraid of commitment. They're afraid of taking... They don't know where they are. They're afraid of responsibility. They are delayed adolescents. We have a Peter Pan generation But isn't it, isn't it fair to blame that on the women's movement? I mean, didn't it confuse no, no, no. the heck it's out of us? No, no, no. It's not the women's movement. Yes, because the is. women's movement really benefits the men. Yes, they are now... Is. Instead of the man... The as, instead of the man having to be to being totally dependent, the family is no longer dependent on him, but he shares it with a woman. Himself. He doesn't they have to have support the them. He's feminist. better off than before. But remember, it's a transition we're going through between a whole different attitude. It used to be that the woman stayed home no more. And the men are suffering from it, and they're afraid of commitment. Now they've got two jobs. Isn't that great? They have to go to work, and now they have to come home and take care of the, the house right, and everything. The man else. Didn't help. we progress? Yeah, the man doesn't help. Why doesn't the man help? help? Why doesn't the I man help? help? You are very you. unusual, Anthony. I say great for you, but you're not. You are alone. We have a you comment here. Anthony? Hold on a second. Because we work together. That's Anthony, that's Anthony, I'm going to lock you in a closet pretty soon. All right. Here we go. I think the women of the '80s could do anything they want, and if they leave a relationship, it's because they want to leave for the better. And we don't need a man. That's right. That's right. But then let's not, let's not lie about it and say women want commitment. Let's at least be we truthful and say women are abandoning commitment, commitment in droves. The problem with women are afraid like of... We don't want to like Stay home standard. and take care of the kids and no. feed us. Men are we afraid. don't want that. Men are afraid of... Let me explain what the double standard is that men are afraid of. Um, Warren Farrell, who wrote a book called Why Men Are the Way They Are, says that in a marriage, a woman has three choices. She can work full-time, work part-time, or be a full-time homemaker. Men also have three choices. They can work full-time, they can work full-time, or they can work full-time. And men, that gives men heart attacks at age 55 and 60, and it's that double standard that men are afraid of, not the commitment. We have a phone men call. Yes, you're on People Are Talking. Yes, Kelly, hold on one second. Yes, we have a call. Yes, huh? Yes, you're on, talk. You're on the show. I have to say, I think Kelly's kind of, like, afraid of men, because it seems like when a woman says something like, like they marry men just for money, she makes an excuse about it. But if a man says something, she's like, oh, they're rapists, they're killers. 
And it just it just seems that anything with a penis, she's like, oh no, but they do this, they do that, they hurt women. I mean, I expect the marriage to be 50 50. You know, if, if the woman wants to work, that's fine with me, or if the man wants to work, that's fine with me. But it seems that she's just like, for superior, I want to see things be equal. And she's like, I want to be my slave, I want to win, but women could do this, women could do that. And I don't agree with that at all. And when, we, when Mel said about women marrying... Women are tired of being the slaves of men. Let's turn it around for once. But you think every man's like a killer and just out to rape a woman and all. I mean, when I find... 98% of all criminals are men. With Kelly here, the stage reeks of man hatred. You will have to disinfect when the show is over. Okay, yes. They deserve to be um, hated. Go ahead. I have something to say the to Anthony. Ones. Anthony, you keep saying about giving your children their name or your name. What makes you think your name is better than mine? My kid could have my own name, all right? Plus, my kid will make his own name. Have you ever asked your child what, what, no, what no, he No, no, I'm not. I don't you have, have children, children and I'm not married. Thank God. But, <laughs> but I'm just saying... Would you thank you your parents saying, if they hadn't become married? You just keep saying that give your children a name. Your children can make their own name. You could have the same amount of love from a mother You're speaking as you of do reputation. from a father. I'm not talking about reputation. I'm speaking of a name through tradition that has built this country. Tradition. There you said it. The magic word, tradition. That's Is there anything wrong with tradition? No, I, I'm not saying it's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying it's time to change tradition. Why is it time to change? Shall we put evolution on fast forward? Because you said it? Because you think it's different? I think Because you're afraid of it? Afraid of what? Of, of, of changing tradition. What's wrong with changing tradition? I want to tradition? improve tradition. I don't want to exactly. see our kids be afraid to get married. The flip of a coin, 50% divorce. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see my, my grandchildren look forward to their weddings. Well, it's better to have a divorce than having two people together that don't want to be together. You another thing. Worse? I'll tell you another What's thing. Worse? You know, it, it's been shown on, on the liberal media that As women leave men because media? men are no good because men are abusing them but the sad fact remains and think about this for a minute the sad fact remains that women are leaving submissive men in greater uh, numbers than they're leaving men who dominate them and i don't mean abuse now don't get me wrong i dominate is not to abuse that? that's a yeah. fact I have how, tell me how you know it yeah, just because it. you state it doesn't not make it a fact it i is, write books i can't do that i write Maybe books you could. also well then how can you state because a fact because i've done research proof. on it and i can prove it to well, you well prove it to me now that women leave, uh, leave submissive men. What's the study that's been done on that? My study. Oh. oh. That's right. And, and the Federal Census Bureau. When, when the man has a setback and he has to head for the bankruptcy lawyer, the wife heads right for the divorce lawyer. That's how it works. All right. We're going to take a break. We'll be back and continue this one. People are talking right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to People Are Talking. Yes. Well, I think men and, men and women are supposed to learn to love one another and respect one another, and that respect go together. Then everything, you know, falls right in the right way. Think it'll happen? Yes, it okay, can. Okay, good. Yeah. I, sir, I know women do not want wimps. They want men who are strong, yeah. who are compassionate, who right. can love us but not trample us. Yeah. And I'm sure we want men who can be fathers for our kids, who can help us to parent our kids. And this will help our society get better. Thank you. I think in most marriages, the men don't give in as much as the women give in. The women right. give in more than the men give. The, the woman does most of the housework. Women the woman know how raises the children. She made a comment, we have the to love each other. Women always love men. Would not they don't do. love us. The, the man is, is just sits around the house and watches TV all day long. The couch potato syndrome. Yes, sir. So you got a lot of nerve accusing me of being insensitive. You embody insensitivity. You want to enslave me. You want to have babies without men. Everything that you're espousing is insensitive and cold. It doesn't feel good when the shoe is on the other foot, does it? Uh, the Women shoe is not on the other foot. You're a hypocrite. You're a self-serving hypocrite. I'm Listen very, to you. I'm very what, do you what do you want to do? You want to have a slave as a husband? Is that sensitivity? I am fighting against male supremacy, which has killed millions of women. In the Inquisition, more women were killed than hey, Hitler killed Jews. it's 1989, lady. You Get know, off it, will you? Nine million people were killed. Who the Women. hell cares? It's I'm talking I'm about talking how about you're history. insensitive and you're accusing me of being insensitive. The condition of women today has been what caused the hell is by 3,000 years of killing and raping and hurting women. I don't women. want to enslave... I'm fighting Wait back a minute, shut up for a second, oh, will you? You shut up! Nice. Go ahead. I don't want to enslave my girlfriend. Why do you want to enslave It's automatic. A man is born into a male supremacy world where he's the ruler. He Bold. gets what he wants. Bold. It's automatic. All right, listen, let's, let's talk. Yeah. We mentioned the word future, okay? Is it possible 
that we can get over these differences. Mel, can, can you and Kelly shake hands, compare skirts, and go on and be happy friends? <laughs> Sure, no, I, I, I respect Kelly's fighting for what she believes in, but I want to take the next step forward toward a real lasting equality for both sexes. I think too many women are fighting to stay backward to protect their privilege, and I want things to be really equal. Cynthia Smith's book, it's called Why Women Shouldn't Marry. We thank her for being here. Give her a hand. Thank Kelly, thank you so much for being here. Mel, thank you very much for being here. Anthony Moshe has written a book called Now Never. Thank him for being here. And thanks for your comments, folks. You were great today. That's it for right now. It's time.